Hey, Shovel Kenny, and welcome to another Castor and Wednesday monthly challenge for August 2022 and pot roast and meatloaf. And pot roast wasn't on sale this week, so it's going to be another meatloaf. Anyways, this is from a suggestion from Mark at uh, Open Air Outdoors. His uh, wife, he told me his wife made uh, a chicken and stuffing meatloaf so I'll give it a try I don't know how she did hers but I'll do this one my way and we'll see if it turns out so because it's chicken and and dressing with or stuffing we're going to uh, take some cranberry sauce and throw some barbecue sauce into it and make it a uh, cranberry barbecue sauce on the top so anyways we're going to throw some veg in we have our loaf pan and our stuffing mix and uh, I guess it'll be pritter patter get at her. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back with a couple steps anyways. We've got our chicken in our bowl here and we're going to throw in our cooked vegetables. And we'll throw in a couple of eggs for binder. I want this to set up fairly solid, so. Anyways, we're gonna not make you watch me mix this. One egg might have been enough. But anyways, we gotta run with what we got. There's our chicken and vegetables. An egg. Okay. I refuse to eat. Okay. We're not going to make you watch me spread this out because it make too many people laugh. So we'll come okay. back. Here we are with our chicken in the bottom and our so top stuff in the top of it. And we're going to attempt to convert this into a meatloaf. And I don't know if I want to let you watch. Uh, oh well, we'll just have to be a little more careful putting it in our pan. I wasn't going to film this part, but because this is supposed to be a serious cooking show. It's not supposed to be comedy. Anyways, there it is. So we're going to throw that into a 400 degree oven and uh, hope for the best. Or, anyway, get our barbecue sauce ready. So, uh, We'll come back. Okay, we're about half baked there. So we're going to put on our cranberry barbecue sauce glaze on the top. And put it back in the oven for another. Twenty minutes or so. 
we got biscuits to make too, so. <laughs> I thought I had more sauce than that. Oh well. Okay, we're cooked. We're out of there. We're going to leave that rest for at least 20 minutes, I think. And we're going to put our biscuits in the oven. Which also take 20 minutes. I wonder if that's a coincidence. Anyways, we'll be back in 20 minutes. Okay, we're back. Our meatloaf has rested for however long it was. 20-25 minutes. So now we're going to see if we can do our magic act and get it out of here. Gotta wait for our biscuits to set up, then we're off to the races. And here's a preview of our salad. Let's see. It's not much. Tomatoes and onions. I use eat this all the time with Italian dressing, but today I didn't undress I undressed left it undressed because somebody else has different preferences. So anyways, Vito Schaff and Daisy, here's the little tomatoes I promised you to look at. And I'll leave the link for Vito Chef down below and also the one for Mark at uh, Open Air Outdoors. So, uh, I guess we'll try cutting off a piece and see how bad this comes out. I could have come up with a more impressive knife, but oh well. So, well, my glass is on so I can see what I'm doing. It looks okay. Definitely not one you want to cut thin, but we'll plate some up. Technique on this one, or not make it again. Anyways, we'll go for a piece and a half inch plate. And where's my two little plates? Two little helpers here. Dying. Okay. This is really organized and the uh, shows. Okay, we'll come back in a second. Anyways, here's our plating. Our chicken and dressing meatloaf, which needs some work. Oh well, uh, whole wheat biscuit and tomatoes fresh out of the garden with a little bit of onion and some Italian dressing. And of course, my taste testers part. 
So we'll get that over with now. And here we go. Taste tester number one. And taste tester number two. When one's looking at the second one's plate, you know it's got to be good. Well, I guess it passes, so now's the time for my DIY dark matter taste test. Okay, here we go. First things first. Get some chicken into him. Oh, piece fell. Didn't even hit the floor. Anyways, another piece gone. Give it a try. Not bad. I should have made more barbecue sauce for it, but I always guess. It does make a good meatloaf. And the little tomatoes and onion. And a bunch of our whole wheat biscuit. Anyways, the uh, cast iron wins here is started by Deathnade Tears, and she keeps a playlist, uh, and the link will be down below. And check out s s s uh, Dutch's Outdoor Cooking with Steve. And he make he keeps a cast iron Wednesday uh, channel that he does the highlights of the you know, people doing cast iron Wednesday cooking. And uh, please uh, join us. Uh, cook something up. It doesn't have to be a challenge. Anything from the challenge uh, it can be anything, even fried eggs. And let us know and we'll get you on the playlist. So, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next week.